featherweight division. There you see Takashi Miura from Akita, Japan. 33 and two, former world champion. Across the way, Mickey Roman from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico with 56 and 11 on his record. You ready? Ready? We are ready to go from Indio, California. Beth Duran and Doug Fisher here as the crowd is fired up. Takashi Mira in the black trunks. He is in the southpaw stance. Roman in the gold trunks. I always wonder with the southpaw that maybe a possible clash of heads. Have to be careful with that. Here you see Mira bouncing around a little bit. A little bit more pop in their step here in the second round. Good left. Hand. What kind of style is Mira for those watching it for the first time? Mira is a slugger. Yeah, he lives and dies by his power. He does have some sap. He does have a nice right hook. He can jab when he wants to. Nico, stop, stop, stop. But he, he doesn't always pop the jab off, and he just uses his me. right jab as a range finder for the left. But he, you know, like I said in the opening, he, he lives and dies by that left hand. And a seek and destroy fighter is, is a slugger. Rick loading up on those lefts. Roman answers with the right of his own. And a slugger wants to, to pull fighters of other styles into his fight. If you're a boxer, he wants to pull you into that. Body if shot. you're a fellow slugger um, or, or a puncher, he wants to pull you into that because he knows that he's tough enough to take it and that he can wear you down. And Roman, rugged veteran, Mexican. Yeah, he's he's a he's an aggressive Straight boxer. Back. Straight I'll back. call him an aggressive boxer yeah, puncher. Break. So break. we're not gonna have these two on the ropes. No. <laughs> Body shot landed by Roman. If somebody's you do see Muir just load up on his left, doesn't it? And Muir is going to be dangerous from um, the outside in middle distance, and I think Roman is going to be do more damage on the inside. That's what Roman wants to do here. Good second round. And he's an old third round of action. Takashi Mura and Mickey Roman. Okay, yeah, the feeling out is gone. Let's just start slugging away here. It wasn't going to last. Yeah. Not with their mentalities. No. You know. Only one round last year for Takashi Mura. As Tom Taylor shaking the head. Watch your heads, guys. Warning them both about a flash. Beautiful, left. Left. Beautiful left. left hand. And you see he just paused with the right hand. There he kind of sneakily did sort of a swatting right hook jab. That's more of a distraction. Stop, stop, he just stop, wants stop, to find stop, range stop. and land the sledgehammer. Mura throws right. everything with authority, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And I would define him as a puncher if he had one hitter quitter power with that left, but he doesn't. He has to kind of wear you down with the left. And he, and he likes to draw you into a firefight, lots of exchanges. That's why I, I, I define him as a slugger. And Mickey Roman likes to get in there and mix it up with you. A lot of fans here from El Paso and Seattle Juarez. Body shot again. Roman actually with his left hook to the body of his own. Right hand, uppercut from Roman. Uppercut from Mura. You got one, I got one for you. Left hook from Mura. Good action as it starting to heat up between Takashi Mura and Mickey Roman. Third round. It is scheduled for 12 in Indio, California. Yeah. Stepping Roman, on each other's feet. Yeah, he does get in there. He is landing his shots. We're seeing a lot of punches land on the arms of both fighters, but that takes a toll as well. Is that where a fighter down and bring those arms down to where they can hit more? Some blood from the mouth of Takashi Mira here in the fourth round. Roman starting to pick up the pressure. One, two, landed by Mira. And these are to go in the fourth on, round. Body work from Roman. Got away with the hold again. Right hand from the Chihuahua fighter, Mickey Roman. Mira answers with a shot of his own. Body work from Mira. Body work from Roman. Of the way that these two are just attacking the body because they both have big whiskers. They've shown that they can take heavy shots. That was a nice lead right hand from Roman and landed and set up some uh, follow up punches. We are seeing Roman slowly push Miura back, but Miura is able to land some damaging blows as he, he gives the ground. Score. I thought that Roman was a more consistent fighter offensively, but the eye catching, head snapping punches were landed by the Japanese fighter. Mira bouncing around here in this round. Making Roman chase him, eluding him. Swinging and missing 
over and over is Nicky Roman here in the fifth round. And Miura might be trying to set a trap, or he might be acknowledging that Roman is the stronger fighter. Oh, Nicky Roman. Yes, you can hear it from the Mexican contingent. Yep. Body shot landed by Roman. Miura sticks out his face. The Mexico chant is getting loud inside the Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino. Good right landed by Mickey Roman. Flash and Mira, 32 year old in the black. Good single body shots from Miura. But you haven't really seen many combinations from Miura, have you? I was just about to say that. He doesn't put his punches together enough for my liking. Roman does. But Roman doesn't hit as hard punch for punch as Miura, particularly uh, from the left side of Miura. Roman with some blood trickling down his nose. It's well timed from the Mexican veteran. Body work, a little bit of shoe shine. Halfway through the sixth round, scheduled for 12. Roman came prepared to do some serious work. He's a very high punch output for him. Good shot landed. With the crowd ooh and an eye. Of course, the problem with uh, a high volume attack is that you leave yourself open. Swing away from him. Roman lands a well-timed lead right hand right down the pipe. I think it momentarily stunned the Japanese fighter and left him vulnerable for these follow-up hooks and crosses. Let me guess, you were there for his debut? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Pretty much everybody else. <laughs> right now, we're watching Takashi Mira in the black, Mickey Roman, Ciudad Juarez, Mexico against Akita, Japan. With one, two from... That's, that's what Mura does. Loads up, hits it. Roman shaking his head like, nope. A lot of those shots being blocked by the gloves of Roman. Loading up and going for it is Mura, but they're not landing flush. Yeah, that one oh, did. That one did. And, but there is a sense of urgency from Mura. And between rounds, we saw a lot of bruising scattered around the face of the Japanese fighter. Under the eye, but that could change. Roman's been in some scraps over the years. He's veteran, wondering how is he going to respond. You know, accidental head, but he didn't look very happy about it. Stop, 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 stop. He's getting a little dirty inside. A lot on the line. You, a win here, bumps these guys up even more. Think about how long it took Roman to work his way up the WBC rankings. Yep, 18 fights, several years, four years, I believe. Some consider him just a, a journeyman with that record or potential gatekeeper. He doesn't think of himself like that. And he's not fighting like a journeyman or even a, a, a tough gatekeeper. He's fighting like somebody who is a legitimate contender and somebody who desperately wants to earn a world title shot. As Roman said yesterday, yesterday at the weigh-in to me, don't look at my record, just watch me fight. I don't look like my record. That's the best way to say it. And, and I, I like the way he's fighting right now. And, Almost exhaustion. Could he be Great being guy, tired? Both of these fighters here. I think he landed enough to e just to edge that round eight, though. You got it. So it's still anybody's fight. Although I, I have Roman slightly ahead. Guys, watch it. Stop! 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 Now watch that head. Good shot landed by Mira. The southpaw. Roman takes a step back. Got to catch his breath here. Stop, stop, this is stop, a very stop, tired of Mickey Roman. Right? He was bouncing around early in the rounds, middle of the rounds, still had a lot of movement here. He's not moving away from the heavy shots being thrown by Takashi Mura. And Mura is also battling fatigue, but he's fighting through it. And he's bringing the fight to the Mexican veteran. Roman keeping his hands up in between rounds. His corner said, you have to keep your hands up. Don't drop them. Body shot, good one by Mura, the former world champion. Uppercut landed by Mura. Less than a minute to go in the ninth round. Would you say Roman is the more fatigued fighter at this point of the fight? From right now, yes. Good night of boxing here in Indio, California. Main event coming up with Francisco Vargas and Miguel Bertelt. Two Mexicans going at it. That's our main event right now. Mickey Roman from Chihuahua, uh, Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Taking on Takashi Mira, the former world champion, Southpaw. It's a good thing that Miura had a, a soft 2016 that yeah. <laughs> once, because he's found himself in another grueling battle of attrition. 
2016, he only fought he was half of a round. He got a knockout. It's wild swinging and a miss. And he's swinging and missing, but he's also catching Roman between yeah. Roman's wild punches. Comes down to who who's had the better conditioning and who wants it more. Oh, body, body shot. shot! That got him. He loaded up, Four. and it was a body Five. shot to the gut, Six. and it was the left. Seven. Yep, that was the sledgehammer. Eight. Landed right, like a wrecking here. ball. Final seconds. Right. Oh, Dougie with the current. Time. Came in like a wrecking ball, huh, Dougie? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, had to. It. <laughs> that was a body shot. Roman is holding up by, against the ropes right now. Mira loaded up. They're telling him to sit down. He just oh. measured him for that left. Oh. Lead left. Landed sort of on the rib cage, sort of right in the abdomen area. Maybe a little bit towards the solar plexus. And that will suck a fighter's uh, win. Down went Roman. I'm surprised he got up from it, to be quite honest. And he was definitely saved by the bell. If that same punch had landed in the middle of round 10, I don't know if he would have survived. Look at Roman coming in, only showing the left shoulder. He is hiding that right side from the southpaw to Kashimura. He has not recovered from that vicious body shot that he suffered at the end of the 10th round. Upstairs, good right line to Mamura. Yeah, he's got power with that right hook. And he's on the ropes, and he drops him for the second time in the fight. Dougie, you Four, said you don't want to be on the ropes five, if you're Mickey Roman, and that's exactly where he found himself seven, on the 11th. And eight, he was dropped okay? here halfway here. through the 11th round. He Walk still hasn't recovered from the end of the 10th. Give Tom Taylor up. asking him if he wants to keep going. Go. Of course he does. And he is a quintessential Mexican warrior, but his back was against those ropes because he can no longer offer the physical resistance not to be pushed back against them. Vieira pulls Roman to the ropes and lets go. Lefts to the body, rights to the head, and basically overwhelms Roman to the canvas with an accumulation of punches. You see a right cross to the, to the forehead, to the temple. And he's really at his best when he's working both hands, going back and forth. And he can really get off with impunity when he can back Roman to the ropes. And it's just cross, hook, cross, hook, cross, hook, cross, hook. Roman, actually 11 Last really wants. still got to get through Let's the 12th. And I'm pretty sure Mira wants to end this. Look at I, I don't, on it. I don't know how these guys do it. I really don't. Stop, stop, stop. Straight back. Body shots with the tip. Yeah, Mira is in firm command of this fight right now. I have scored every round for Mira. Oh, he dropped eight. eight. That was a delay. He hit him with that Three. left hook. Four, it stung him, five, and the knees gave out. Six, I don't know if Mickey Romano's going to get up from this eight, one. I don't know if he has nine, anything left in that fight. He's trying, and it is over. Wow. A 12th round KO for Takashi Mura. What a sensational fight, and what a sensational victory for Takashi Miura. Okay. Showed why. Right here, he got him to the ropes and delivered the left cross. He lives, and he dies with that sledgehammer. Tonight, he's living, and he has earned a shot at the winner of tonight's main event. Here's a shot to hit him, but he delayed. It was just more of the effects of, finally, the synapses in the brain said, hey, this hurts. Yeah, Mickey, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> he got us to the body in round 10, overwhelmed us almost in round 11, nailed us to the jaw here in the 12th round. Enough's enough. I'm going to keep Victory to Kashi Mura, the fan for Johnny Mexico, Mexico, but he's getting lots of.